introduced me to Let's Not Meet and encouraged me to post this story. This story takes place a few years back when I was still rather new to the whole cop thing. I had recently moved into a new apartment building not too far from my place of work. The landlord was a relatively nice man. If you had a good reason for not getting your rent in on time, he understood. His son, however, was a huge dickhead. He lived with his father, unemployed and lazy, and would frequently wander the building. He often hit on female tenants, cornering them and talking to them or even trying to follow them into their apartments on some occasions. He got fairly upset when he was rejected, and would often stay on that particular floor for up to a month after rejection. Watching her come and go and riding the elevator with her? My neighbor was once so scared that she would ask me to walk her out. But he was relatively harmless. He never raised a hand to a woman. Then, the burglary started. People started complaining of missing small things like a couple of bucks, a piece of jewelry, maybe a video game or two. But there was no evidence, no security camera footage, no signs of a break-in. Then, certain things started going missing from the female tenant's apartments. Perfume, a piece of clothing here or there. It got really messed up. Way back then, I worked nights. I would often come home from work in the wee hours of the morning and pass out in my bed. But there was always something I would do before that. I'd lock my bedroom door. After growing up with two older siblings who didn't much respect me at all, I started locking my door because they'd often barge in without knocking. I guess this translated into adulthood as well, and I'm glad it did. I had the night off for one night, and was using that night to catch up on some much needed sleep when I heard it. It was fuzzy at first, but the second time around, I heard it loud and clear. Someone was trying to turn the knob on my bedroom door. I heard the doorknob jiggle again and heard a soft fuck before I got out of bed slowly and quietly. I own a few firearms, rifles, a shotgun, a few handguns, but they were all stored safely in a locked gun safe, except for one my favorite revolver that I frequently used for recreational shooting and kept in the bottom drawer of my nightstand. I grab it, check the cylinder. Looks like the fucker in my apartment has a 50% chance of living if I pull the trigger. I hold my gun and listen. The doorknob has stopped jiggling, but I can still hear him out there. I listen at the door and he's definitely no longer there, but I can hear him shuffling around. I ease the door open a crack and look out. He's crouching down observing my video games. I silently creep out of my room and come up behind him, but far enough away so that I won't get fucked up if he happens to have a weapon. I tell him to stand up with his hands up. He freezes but does what I tell him to do. There's a small pocket knife in his hand. I tell him to put it down and turn towards me. He does. And what do you know? It's the landlord's son. He sees my gun and the look on his face is pure terror. I tell him to move away from the knife and he does. I go to pick up the phone, not looking away from him as I dial the number. Y you don't have to call the... I glare at him and tell him he was stupid enough to break into a cop's house, effectively telling him to shut the fuck up without saying anything. He listens, and I finish calling the police. As the cops haul him out, the landlord is looking at him with such disappointment, and it honestly hurt a little. He promises a few months free rent and a few other things, but after that ends, I leave the apartment. I often think about what would have happened if I hadn't locked that door.